measurements in the lab are important in how in their precision and measurements in the kitchen for cooking are also important. One thing to look at for measurements in the kitchen is that often you're using cups, teaspoons, and tablespoons. That's because those are convenient kitchen measuring instruments. Um, but often recipes will ask for ingredients in grams, um, which is not as convenient um, because most people don't have a way to measure mass in their kitchen. So when you're asked for uh, cups or when you're asked to measure something and you're given a recipe in grams, you need to do conversion. So uh, the reason why recipes will have a mass in grams is because of the fact that food ingredients have different densities. And density is a mass over volume. And so how much mass there is in a certain volume, we can compare flour which has a, in one cup of flour, this it has 130 grams, okay? But if you have one cup of chocolate chips, one cup of chocolate chips has a mass of 170 grams. So one cup of an ingredient is not as reliable as its mass. And so that's why in baking, baking, common, baking recipes commonly um, have exact um, exact ratios that are important and will a recipe will be asking for masses of ingredients. And so the um, cup measurements when you are given a recipe such as something that calls for 500 grams of sugar, you need to convert that to cups so that you can measure it using your cup measurements. So going back here looking for sugar, I can see that sugar, if we're talking about white sugar, one cup of sugar is equivalent to 200 grams of mass. So that means we use this conversion factor where you have one cup is 200 grams. Okay, so just as we have in the past, anytime you have an equivalency, you can use this to convert from one unit to the other where you have 500 grams, put your 200 grams on the bottom so that the grams will cancel out and you have one cup. So your units will be in cups. That's good because that's what we're trying to solve for. Um, and then the 500 divided by 200 is going to be 2.5 on the calculator, which is equal to 2 and 1 half cups. So you notice I didn't round this number. That's because in the kitchen, you don't need to round, but you do need to make it equal to cups, tablespoons, and teaspoons because that's what you are using for your measuring instruments.